Hey, so I want to show you guys how to paint your very own wood electric fireplace. So we have this nice dark cherry uh, wood electric fireplace, but my mom wanted it to be an ivory color. So I'm going to show you guys the process, how we did it. So the paint we used was a latex semi-gloss Dutch Boy Platinum No Prep No Prime formula in the ivory color because it did not require a priming step. We were going to use the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch latex paint but they didn't have it in the color we were looking for. They had almond and they had heirloom white but uh, they were both too dark for us for our project. We used a palm sander instead of an orbit sander because it's able to get into those tight corners and those details in the wood that an orbit sander wouldn't be able to do. And we used 80 grit and 120 grit sandpaper. It's better to use painter's tape that's a little bit wider because you're less likely to get paint on the areas where you don't want. The paintbrushes we used were both natural and synthetic bristles, but the natural bristles are better because you're less likely to see the paint strokes on the wood. So we put painter's tape all over the edges that we didn't want paint to get on, and we did it all over the edges of the fireplace. So the top part of the wood electric fireplace is removable, so we took it off and we started sanding the top. Since we're not staining the wood a different color, we're just painting it with a latex paint, we don't need to sand all the way down, and this is very important. We just need to remove the gloss of the wood so that the latex paint can stick to the wood. So once we're done sanding the area, we're just wiping it down with a cloth that will remove all the dust. So we manually sanded the areas where the sander couldn't reach. We used an 80 grit sandpaper to initially get the gloss off and then we switched over to 120 grit sandpaper to make the area more smooth and even for painting. But they also make finer grit sandpaper so if you want it even smoother you can use that as well. So we are finally done sanding and now we're ready to start painting. Just remember to mix really well and when you start painting just go with the grain of the wood. So you can see with the second coat of paint how much better it looks compared to the first coat. So we are finally done with our ivory wood fireplace which took about three to four coats to get uh, full coverage. The paint we used uh, dried pretty fast so the whole project took us about a few hours.